Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing all really well. I hope you're having a lovely start to your week. You probably guessed today I am starting my morning with a run. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing. So I did 18 miles last week. I know I didn't film the weekend last week but I did 18 miles and it was fine. It went really well um, but I think I was on my feet for too long like running because I ran like 17 and a half miles in total I only walked for half a mile and this week my knees have both been really playing up so I haven't ran all week I haven't done a run in a week and that's the longest I haven't since I started marathon training about six months ago so we are going to go out today I do have on the plan to do 10 miles I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do that so we're just going to go out we're going to see how long we can do see how my knees keep up I would love to do 10 miles just because I haven't done one this week but I don't know how we're going to do so I've done my skincare I've done my hair and I wish you could actually see I mean you can look at the grease on my hair it's literally given you can cook an egg off it that that is what it's given this morning um but i have a fun little day planned i'm going out this evening as long as things don't change today i'm going out this evening tomorrow hopefully going to brunch with my mum um but we'll see but we've got fun hopefully got a fun like weekend planned but i need to get dressed i need to eat some brekkie and then we're going out on this run okay i'm at the three mile point which is 5k for you guys that walking working kilometers i am struggling my knees are all right i've had a little bit of like pains but in terms of like the actual run i am struggling i don't think i've struggled like this for quite a while so i obviously know that's because i haven't run in a week but it's not gonna lie it's getting hard that i am struggling this much but we're just gonna keep going so i got to five miles and then i started walking and i now have been walking for about i want to say five minutes i'm going to walk for another five and then run again but this is just a reminder not every day if you are doing running or some sort of exercise not every day is going to be a good run or exercise day today i am really struggling and i just think it's so important to show that side because i think on social media especially with marathon training it's like oh yeah i did a great run really enjoyed it i did it in this time and i'm like some days are just not like that and i think you can give yourself a harder time when you don't see that so this is a reminder some days are just not a good day for running or exercise and today is one of those days for me so i'm gonna walk for another five minutes and then do the last 4.5 miles this run is getting so much better because it's now raining to be fair i'm only like half a mile left i think oh magpie um but yeah it's getting better so it's fair to say it's quite a few hours later from me being on my run looking like a sweaty hot mess to literally a full face of makeup this is the first bit of makeup i've put on my face since 2024 like i haven't put on any this year so it has gone really really well and let me show you one product which i'm sorry i was obsessed with i haven't used it before it is this blush that i'm wearing it's from rare beauty if it wants to focus it is for it is nearly neutral and are you ready for the color wait oh wait stop it it is so glowy when it's on the skin as well i don't know if you can tell it's just absolutely gorgeous um but i didn't get ready with you because i was filming a tiktok like um it was a what i like about being single and i'm going to post it on valentine's day because it can be hard when you're a single girly but anyway this evening i am actually going out which can't even remember the last time i went out on a saturday evening if i'm honest but i am this is so strange i am going to an event i'm going into plus one i haven't been invited or anything i just want to put that out there um but han got invited to that was a bit croaky wasn't it um han got invited to eleanor o'neill's galentine's night and she was allowed a plus one and she was like do you want to go and i was like bloody lootly um so i am incredibly anxious my stomach's been doing flips all day i've literally told han i'm not leaving her side um she's gonna be absolutely fine like she says she hasn't met any of these girls before but everyone seems lovely and it will absolutely be fine but i have the worst social anxiety and you guys probably won't even know that but i have the worst social anxiety in the whole entire history like i just absolutely hate it um, but I am really excited at the same time like and you're never gonna grow the thing I keep telling myself I'm never gonna grow in situations that I'm comfortable with like this makes me extremely uncomfortable But I've got a hand there. We're only staying for a couple of hours because we've she's got to get a train back So I think it's gonna be like a nice taster, but I am really really excited. It's a galentine's night We have to wear pink so I've got a um 
it was pink red or sparkle so i've got a pink blazer and i've also got this red bag which i'm gonna pair with it it does come with a strap so i will have the strap in there as well but i am really really excited i am also going to be that extra that i change my phone case and change it to be a little bit more girly so at the moment where is my phone let me get it so at the moment i have this case on it's just from newden it's coming off is it there that side it's a little bit ripped you can't even see that but it's a little bit ripped there however and this is literally the most exciting thing that's happened to me like in my whole entire existence skinny dip skinny dip yes the brand reached out to me on tiktok and was like we'd love to send you some of our cases and i was like are you like what what is my life but they sent me some of their new phone cases and i'm pretty sure it's like all valentine's related so it's come at the perfect time and i thought i'd show you what they sent me like i just can't believe this is my life i can't i'm going to an event right i know i didn't get invited but i got invited to plus one like social media i met han through social media so i've got a whole friendship out of that which is the most important thing like i've also i'm helping so many of you guys i've got so many best friends in you guys and skinny dip have reached skinny skinny dip skin the brand like what on earth but anyway I, I just i just can't i did show them on my tiktok and obviously i do want to say just thank you to anyone that follows me over there on here on instagram any of my platforms because that is what's making like my dream a reality and i know to some people this is not going to be the biggest thing in the world but to me this is major and i just i just can't believe it social media has changed my life so much for the better in so many different ways like friendships events pr packages like I just can't so i'm just so grateful but anyway let's go on to the phone cases so this is the one i'm going to go for this evening i think i think this is like getting the vibe of like sparkles and pink so it is the heart with um cherries like the cherry heart disco ball things which i just think is so cute these are the other ones that they sent me that i'm not going to put on tonight but they sent me this like little cocktail one it's got some cigarettes it's got some olives i wish i was an olive girly i wish i was they also sent me this one which is like a heart one it's got some moody hearts some happy hearts some devil hearts which what one would i be i think i want to say i'd be like this one like the happy chilled one and this one is hands down my favorite even though i'm going for the, this one tonight just because i think that fits the galentine's theme a bit more and um, this favorite so it is this little cherub bear one but can you see what it says on the top dump him it says it on the top as well the stars the glitter everything about this is i am obsessed like i am this is hands down my favourite one, but tonight we're going to go for this one just because I do think it fits the vibe a bit more. Not that anyone's going to be paying attention to what case is on my phone. However, do I do I want to be that extra? Yes, I do. I've been talking for five minutes, Charlotte. How do I include this for five minutes? Okay, let me put on this phone case. How bloody cute does that look? That screens Galentine's. Val no, screens Galentine's. Like me just taking like a cute photo in the mirror with my iridescent the sparkles the glitter everything about it i'm obsessed so I'm, i know skinny dip probably won't see this video because obviously over on tiktok my videos have a little bit more views not that it really matters but that's how they reached out to me over there so thank you skinny dip if you do end up seeing this video and then i think next week i'm going to change to this one but for tonight this is the phone case okay really quickly as i have to leave i also need to take this tripod off so i have this skims top or well skims dupe top from h&m this blazer is from primark i feel like i'm going to the office but it's the only pink thing that i have these jeans are from opoly and then i also have these shoes on from tk maxx but they have the red in them like red and pink so that's fine and then i'm also just going to wear this bag is it clashing probably but i don't care i don't care i'm very ready for some girly vibes i don't know what it's going to be i like I, I don't know but i'm very very excited just for like some girly good vibes okay i am now with han hello oh i didn't actually show you i literally <laughs> just literally just showed like if you open in your phone um i did get a little bit lost didn't i yeah, oh my god, it was so funny. Charlotte takes me too much. I can see you. This is a canary wall station, right? It's like amazing there as it is. I can see you. I'm looking around. I'm just seeing her like on her own. I'm like, how on earth has she got there? She's the only person there. So she's just looking down like, I'm out. She takes me like, I'm lost. <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea how I ended up there. I don't know how I got down, um, but we're now in ZZ's and we have ordered the garlic bread, like it's mozzarella and caramelized onions. 
it oh looks, God, it looks so, so good. good. It's literally my favourite to get from ZZ. So we're gonna have this. Ham's never had it. Oh, the light, the, oh, the no, that really helped. Like oh, to it? like actually show you what it actually looks it? like. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, that would be great. Look, look at that. sorry, look how good that looks. We are very excited. Okay, our mains have arrived. I went for the truffle carbonara. That does look look unreal to it really I've never does. Seen that shape. I think I have. It looks lovely. It does look. I can smell the truffle though, so I'm scared it's going to be a little bit too truffly. Like but it. we're going to go for it. And what did you go for? Um, the pesto rosso. And that does look really good. Yeah, it's quite a safe option. It does look lovely. Yeah. So we're going to eat this now. I am now home. Looking a little bit dishevelled. This makeup needs to come straight off. And I have got a friend over here. But we had such a fun evening. It was just, it was just a party for the girls and it was just so fun i obviously don't drink so i wasn't drinking but like sometimes when you don't drink at like parties or events like these people do judge you and there was no one there that was judgmental like it was just the nicest thing i went in and i didn't feel like judged or anything like i just felt really comfortable and for someone who does have really bad social anxiety that is quite rare i obviously also had such a good time with han i always do with her like I think when you are obviously you don't you if you're not friends and you don't have a good time together but where i do get along with her so well we just had such a good time we were just chatting um and it was just so fun so han if you do watch this thank you so much for inviting me to that it was so it was so fun but i'm very glad to be home we did leave early because han um it has got a train to had a train to catch and also we aren't really the party girls so a couple of hours was a good amount of time for us so we it is now uh what can you see that half not uh, half 11 i've just got home we left about i want to say like quarter past 10 20 past 10 um but it was so fun and this is literally me just coming on here to tell you how fun it is whilst i'm looking a little bit disheveled um but i am gonna go to bed now i'm gonna do like a cleansing balm and stuff which i really can't be asked to do but i know my skin will thank me for it so i didn't really film anything in there it was literally in her apartment so i didn't want to like invade privacy and vlogging no one else was vlogging there were a couple of people that i saw and i recognized um but no one other no one that other than like a few people that i recognized everyone else i didn't know but everyone again was so lovely and obviously i had hand there did not leave her side the entire time obviously we had zz's as well um I literally just repeated the exact same thing that I've said, didn't I? But I'm going to do this cleansing mask and then going to go to bed and me and mum are going to brunch tomorrow, which I am very excited for. I think I'm even going to go for waffles or French toast, maybe pancakes. I haven't tried the pancakes from that place, but obviously I will take you along with me. I don't know. Oh, that is what I'm saying. Sorry, I didn't vlog in there because it was it just wasn't really that vibe. Um, it was literally just a party for everyone. So it wasn't really the vibe to vlog in there. Um, but yeah. I'm literally just going to go to bed now. I've literally been waffling. That's how tired I am. I think I've repeated the same thing about three times. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. We are now on a Sunday morning. And, oh, there's a squirrel in my garden. Um, me and mum are heading out for, well, it's literally breakfast because it's like 10 a.m. Um, and I'm very excited. I can't decide whether I'm going to get waffles or French toast. Um, but we're going to the place that I've been a few times that you probably would have seen. And then I'm really quite craving an acai smoothie. But I'm very excited but let me show you what i'm wearing because i'm wearing this set that i got off tiktok shop and i do really like it as always just ignore the mess around me because we'll deal with that at a later time um but this is off tiktok shop i don't think i can link it i can try and i'll can link the video where i posted um with the link to this so that's what i'll do i'll tag the video um but it's just this corduroy two set i've got some chunky trainers on it's like flared and this is like a brownie color i don't know if it's picking it up but it's such nice quality sometimes with tiktok shop things can be a little bit shit but this is actually really nice it's not see-through it's not itchy it feels like it does actually feel quite expensive but i feel like i can see this in like probably like a new look so like mm, like mm, like mid expensive if that makes sense um but yeah i do really really like it obviously i am a short girly but with chunky trainers so it's absolutely fine um but let's go for brunch i have my car back i have not had my car 
in three weeks and I cannot wait. I feel like I have my freedom back, which sounds so stupid because I never really go anywhere anyway, but this car is literally my little savior. This is literally so stupid, but I'm excited to turn the engine on. Like that's ridiculous, isn't it? Like I'm actually excited to turn the engine on. I drove this car like two weeks ago for like one journey to pick my, when my parents went out for the evening with my brother and I had to pick them up then, but like actually properly driving it a long distance. I haven't, let's turn the engine on together. This is so ridiculous. I missed her. Her name is Tanya. I love her. And now I want to drive her. What is going on here then? Where, mm, what is going on here? And now I need to connect, I'm hoping my car will just connect again. My phone will just connect to my car again. But I'm excited to drive her. Hello guys, it is now Monday evening. Um, I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because we did go out for brunch. However, the queue was so long. And when I say so long, I literally mean there was about four, there's two lots of four and two lots of two in front of us. So whatever that is, I'm not eight. 12 there was 12 people in front of us and i was like i am too hungry at this point so we came home and we had pancakes at home so i literally just had pancakes and banana and honey so it was absolutely fine um and then i was at my grand's all day and i didn't film and also really sad i don't know if you would have noticed but i usually have a like um like a van cleef dupe like clover brace on it broke today i'm genuinely upset about it i will be repurchasing it it's from ego like 11 pounds so i just feel really naked um but yeah i didn't film any more yesterday and i wasn't actually even going to put a video up this week just because i thought i had about five minutes of footage and i thought this evening literally 20 minutes ago it's quarter to 10 this is like way past my bedtime um and i thought you know what let's just edit and see what we've got and i do have 15 minutes worth of footage i don't know what of it's literally just me talking um but i do have 15 minutes worth of footage so i was like do you know what i'm just gonna put a little one out i know it's not exactly what i wanted it to be obviously i didn't vlog at the galentine's evening and when i said event i do i did mean like a galentine's evening rather than like a brand event or something i don't think i made that clear but i would say like an a party is an event or something like that it was just like a galentine's evening which was just really nice but i sorry if that like misled anyone um but even then like being invited to like a party or like a galentine's evening held by an influencer like that's an event to me i don't care like that is insane um which again we had a really good time at but i just want to say i'm really sorry that i didn't film anything after yesterday and here is me ending the vlog that i didn't even think i was gonna put up and i literally said on my live today oh there won't be a video this week and i literally look like a big fat liar but hopefully you guys will be happy my eye is itchy that i do have a video up also sorry to change subject how cute are these boyfriend pajamas i got a couple of pairs um at primark this week let me show you the other pair quickly and then i do actually have to go to bed so just so you can see a full version of them like they're the shorts ones so they're short bottoms and short top the only thing i wish with the shorts is that they had like a short top version and a long bottom because i'm definitely like a long bottom short top sort of person but i did think are these gonna be like too grannyish but they're not they're really cute they're like galentine's valentine's like the pink vibes i'm just i'm just absolutely obsessed but let me show you the other pair and then this is the other pair they're like a checked one and apparently my mum has seen these in pink so i'm now on the hunt for these in pink do i need another boyfriend set pajamas absolutely not but i'm absolutely obsessed with them again they are the short pair and i do always get them in a large i size upper size just because i don't want my pajamas being too baggy but now i am going to end the video i just want to say a massive thank you for watching this really sorry that it wasn't what i wanted it to be but i'm glad i got something up for you guys at least and i'm hoping that you like it even though it's just a little bit on the short side and i feel like it was just me talking the whole time um but next week i think i'm gonna do a spend the day with me like marathon training edition because i've got an 18 mile run this weekend um and i want to do like from getting up to like going on the run what i eat what i do after so i think that's what i'm going to do but obviously i wouldn't trust me at this point because i didn't even think i was going to get one up um but thank you so much for watching i just want to say again i don't think they'll watch it but a massive thank you to skinny dip who sent me those phone cases again that is literally just beyond my wildest dreams that like brands know it know about me i'm going to like these parties and events held by influencers that i just i'm just so grateful and i'm just so thankful for like most importantly like the friendships i've got out of this obviously i've got han i've got other friendships and i've got all of you guys and i know it sounds weird because we've never met but like you are all my best friends like and i can genuinely feel if i came on live and i came to you guys like i've got this serious issue i need your advice you would all be there and i would do the exact same like you can always message me on my socials which are linked in the description below um 
but just thank you so much that like, you are making the difference to my life and i know you guys say that like i really help you you love these videos but you have changed my life and you've helped me more than you can ever even know and i cannot put into words like how much to thank you but anyway i won't be cringy i won't keep blabbing on um but i will see you in next week's video as always please remember to like comment and subscribe join the best friend club um and i will see you in next week's video love ya <laughs>